Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi, and we have our second video of mindfulness. How did you get on with the last video? How was your little exercise of the 10 breaths, just disconnecting and really silence our mind? I hope, well, le leave me your comments, please, so then I can see how you get on. So let's start our second session. So again, first, we kind of make an, the atmosphere for you feel uh, relaxed. So you can put a candle or a aromatherapy or incense. Remember that you can be sitting on a chair, on the floor, or lying on your back. Doesn't really matter. You can uh, rest your back on the wall or on a chair. But just make sure that your back is straight so you can breathe at the maximum, inhale at the maximum, and exhale at the maximum. So if your back is like that when you are doing this exercise, your weight is collapsing in your lungs, so your lungs cannot really expand. That's why it's important to have our chest up, engaging your tummy, and keep your back straight, even if we need a support from the wall of a chair. So are you ready? So we're going to do with our next session or our second exercise. So you have everything done, you have your time, and sometimes you can do this when you are in the park, you know? Go sit down in the park, close your eyes, take a couple of breaths, or you have your favorite place that you walk and it's quiet. Sit down, close your eyes, take your 10 breaths. Remember that we are training our mind. In the same way we train our body to be strong, to be flexible, this is an exercise to train our mind, to stop the overthinking, but the most important, enjoy the present moment. No matter in the way that it is, because not always the present moment will be positive. Sometimes it will be negative. Sometimes it's going to be tough. And even in those tough moments, if we really keep our center and we keep the our understanding, it will be easier to accept the situations because sometimes the situation is there in the present moment. We cannot do nothing. We won't be able to change anything. There are things that we don't have control. And it's even like that, we still feel that frustration, anger, and that desire of changing. So what has happened there? We don't have the will to accept, and that no accepting situation sometimes makes us years or days, if we are lucky, with that anger, frustration, desperation. We get um, annoying with the world, with God, with everything. So that's why it's this practice of the to be in the present moment. So when the situations become tough and hard, we have the will to accept, okay? So let's start. Take any position you prefer. Close your eyes. You can raise your hands just on your knees or you can take a mudra position if you have it, anything you prefer. Remember that my favorite is one top of the other one and the thumbs together or interlace your fingers and move the tip of the thumbs together, whatever of you, of you prefer. But if you don't want any of those arms positions, just rest your hands on your legs. But no crossing arms, because this position is already I don't want, you know. So it's like a little childhood wants to be good, but doesn't want to do the exercise. Because this is the thing that sometimes we want to feel better, we want to have harmony, we want peace, but we don't want to do the things to bring us peace. We wanted to keep with our other habits. So that's why we need to have this open body to have the disposition, to release what we don't need and to absorb what we need. So whenever you are ready, let's start. Close your eyes. We're gonna mix the two exercises. So first we're gonna start with our 10 breath together. A deep breath to prepare. Inhale long and exhale deep. Inhale and exhale. Ten. Inhale nine. Exhale. 
Inhale eight. Exhale. Inhale seven. Exhale. Inhale six. Exhale. Inhale five. Exhale. Inhale four. Exhale. Inhale. Three, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Keep your normal breathing. Keep your eyes closed. Extend that sensation that you are having now. When the thoughts start to appear, they start to catch your attention. We keep moving the attention into our breath. You can take a very deep breath when the thought is too strong. But today we're going to work in our thoughts. Just focusing what is happening now at the moment in your mind and ask you a question. Do I have control in this? If your answer is no, just take a deep breath, let it go, and tell to yourself, I don't need this. I cannot control it, so I just accept it. But if your answer was yes, that you can control the situation, tell it to yourself, I have the solution. And if you don't have it yet, repeat, I'm finding, I'm finding the solution. And let the other thought come out. Wait until the other thought come up. And the same, the same question. Can I control this? And if it's no, you answer. You tell a little sentence or mantra. I don't need this. I don't have control of this. I accept. If your answer was yes, you can do something, you can control something of that. You repeat in your mind, I have the solution. I am finding the solution in case that you are still not sure. Because sometimes you know that you have the control, but you don't know how to. So when we are lost in that point, saying, I am finding, I am aware of it, then it helps you to clear up your mind and to focus your mind in the possible solutions. Because if you find a thought that you are able to control or situation, and sometimes we say, I don't know, so then we already are closing ourselves to possible solutions. Then probably another thought is in your mind. And the same. We asked two questions. Do I have control in this? Or I don't have control. the same. Give it the same directions to your thoughts.
And always, when you are doing this, answering, questioning your thoughts, keep your attention into the breath. That the practice of inhale and exhale help us to move the thoughts or accept them or opening ourselves to solutions with the relief of the exhalation. Then slowly we're going to open our eyes and move together. How do you feel? It feels good. Sometimes it's easier to give a certain direction to our thoughts. Sometimes we will find ourselves like a spoiled child that doesn't want to do the things they want to, we don't want to accept. That sometimes there are things that we cannot control. So there is no point to torture ourselves. So again, it's finding acceptation and understanding in our thoughts. So this is going to be our next homework. So take every day, one minute, two minutes, sit com comfortable, and then take the 10 breath, if that is helping you, to bring you into that stage of concentration. And then each thought is coming, you do the same. Do I have control? No, I don't need this. Do I have control? Yes, I'm finding the way. So let me know how was your practice and please let me know what you are experimenting if this is helpful for you. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next video. And remember that you can find this as well in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Have a lovely day or lovely night. Big kiss.